Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today we're playing Star Maid. And once again, we are in the Cyclops Bomber, and I should be able to find... Should be able... Where is it? Come on! I know you're out here somewhere. My armor plate from last time. There we go. This is the advanced armor. It's a layer of advanced armor. A air gap, if you will, even though we're in space. Uh, some thrusters, an air gap, and then a layer of advanced armor. So we're going to... no shields. So we're going to do a few tests. We're just going to shoot it a little. This is a piddly little pea shooter type unit. Um, where am I? And it did... diddly squat. Now, let's shoot it with a real projectile. The... Uh, projectiles. This, if you're unfamiliar with my Cyclops bomber, is a bombing vessel. Uh, where am I? X. Wrong way. It fires four bombs. Uh, a force, or actually it fires fire. It fires five bombs. Four small bombs, and then a fifth that is offset a little. The idea being the four hit destroy armor, then the fifth comes in and hits the gooey center. So let's see. think of it sort of like a bunker buster type unit. That's what I kind of had, had in mind. And it should be rather effective against this armor plate. So let's shoot it. Whee! See, the four will hit first, then the third. Alright, what has happened? It has totally blown away this this armor, and all these stuff in it. Oh, by the way, the damage on the missiles, the primary missile tube does... Let's see, that's 100,000... 1.2 million damage. So that's what 1.2 million damage, along with 200,000 per one of those, so that's 8. That's about 2 million damage. So this is what it does to 2 million damage worth of bomb. It looks like it absorbs lots of it. And this panel in here being the the ship that was docked to, there was an air gap here, wasn't there? There was an air gap here. And it uh, this absorbs some of that splash damage. These blocks are fine. Let's see here. Hold on. Oh, I have to be in that vessel before I do that. Never mind. All right. So that is actually, even though it obliterated this panel, and all the squishy, systemy stuff inside, it did its job. So let's pick one more bead. Hop out. Why did you hop in that one just to hop out? Because uh, it was easier than walking all the way up and out the uh, blowhole of the Cyclops. I mean, dock of the Cyclops. Let was see. Now, let's test it again. Except this time, let's do white standard. And one of these. We rail on right, looking to the left. Right. So, this union to... I don't want white standard. I want white basic. There we go. Mm. See, and that is going to be what five-ish. That's a five by five. But let's do not that one. Five, five, five. This is the size of one pane or one armor panel. So let's copy selection, starting here and ending down here. And let's paste a few of these guys. Uh, should just turn off paste, turn that on. And paste. Whee! Except some of these are going to be backwards. What? I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Alright. But, because the thing is in the center, it doesn't matter if they're backwards because it's an armor plate. 
As long as they're forward facing, I don't mind. Let's see, A1, admin. Alright, let's load in some of these, make sure I got my spacing right, admin. I did, alright. And admin load. There we go, we got it. I'll load some admins. There we go, let's see here. And another loading of admins. Now this does leave gaps in the armor, but... Eh. If you can thread that needle in combat, you probably deserve to win. Alright, so let's spin. Because I hear it's a good trick. Why are we spinning? Um... Mostly so I can get I can get uh, better lighting. There we go. Let's see what's going on. So let's hop out, hop into the Cyclops. So what I have here is six armor plates and a squishy layer of basic hull. If they can survive the uh, let's let's do better than I have one of eight. Squishy layer basic, which is, that's not accurate. So let's remove and replace, pick with camera. I typically use standard as my hull with rebling and all that nonsense. So, uh, replace with active slot. Remove mode. And we're going to do something like remove, replace all the things. What? Oh, okay. Can't do that. All right. Uh, okay. Because it is... Um... Oh, because it's already up against these docked entities, it gets cranky about placing things. All right. My bad. Let's see. Can I undo... Well, I can undo all that. Okay. All right. Still have. I still have that. All right. So let's go over here and let's create a ship. Paste. Paste it this way. Let's remove, replace, pick with that. Light standard. Something like this. There we go. Turn this off. Copy selection, and we're going to do that again. All right. Why are you using white standard? So um, damage and whatnot shows up a little better. There we go. You might have this horrible glare from the sun now. And let's do something like that. There we go. And let's paste. Three. Eight. Nine. Oh, three, seven, nine. There we go. Duh. Something didn't sound right about that. All right. And let's admin load these guys again, because I'm a moron. Oh, you could edit all that mistake out. Yeah, I could. That was the wrong button. But I hate editing with a bitter burning passion, so I don't do it. Unless it's something special. Or I absolutely have to. Alright. Now, now let's simulate a little more of a, one of my ships by doing something like this and something like, not that one, something like this. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Oh, wrong button. 
And we'll do some yellow basic. A little more yellow basic. That would make it much taller. Hey, that actually worked. <laughs> so I hit that symmetry still set up. All right. Anyway, the idea is protect the yellow. The yellow is squishy interior stuff. This is systems. This is um. So I want to call this a zero zero uh, missile or uh, army uh, armor testing platform. Okay. Uh, this is squishy stuff. This is systems. This is interiors. That's all that good stuff. All right, so now let's grab us another Cyclops. It can't spawn as docked, dummy. Eight. Let's see. Before I modify these plates at all, let's just see what it does. Oh, good grief. Now, if I shoot from the yellow side, I win automatically. And lose. So. Let's try to hit it. No, let's. Yeah, let's try to hit it center first. Alright, here we go. That's the wrong button. My hand was on the wrong key. Alright. And pew! There goes my two million bomb. It's gonna go boop. All right, let's take uh, take stock of what happened. The four hit it first, and they did missile damage. It looks like it spread. This is the line of delineation you can tell by this arrowy thing to this armor panel. A little splash into that one, a little splash into this one. Actually, looks like a, quite a bit of splash into that one, but it doesn't look. Uh, that one looks fine. So it does look like the splash damage from the explosives uh, goes across entities, but it doesn't look like acid damage does, or at least not the adjacent entities like that. Obliterated the um, thrust thrusters in two panels. It cracked open the hull and then sliced up a few of the systems. Of course, keep in mind that all this hampered this from being even worse. In fact, let's go in the little time we have remaining. Let's go just shoot the uh, the uh, standard. Let's do this backwards and see how it happens the other way around. Right here. Seems like a nice spot, and I think I fire a little high, so we're gonna... Oh, it's a little low. Huh, low, high, whatever. Alright, this is what would have happened to the yellow armor, or to the yellow, to the systems, my simulated systems, had there been no armor whatsoever. This is what I got from those armor plating and gaps protecting it. Yeah, I think the armor plate is successful, and even in its current state, it is a successful armor plate. I'm impressed with that. I think this is a viable use, and not necessarily just making a wall of these armor plates, but putting them in strategic areas. And now, uh, when I go to end the battle, fix the ship, I pop out, well, I'm ignoring those, I pop out these two iron plates, or these four iron or armor plates, break them down, rebuild them, stick them back up, and then for actual repairs on the ship itself, I would only have this much in, in hull, and only this much in interior stuff to to actually do repairs. Unless, of course, the missile went off inside the ship, uh, going blowing outwards. Then there'd be lots of horrible nasties to uh, to deal with. And still two armor plates to repair. 
So I think I think these armor plates are a success, and they're also uh, thrust neutral. <laughs> I'm calling them a success. This is not necessarily their final form. In fact, I might have different styles of armor plating. I want with spikes. Oh, spikes would look more intimidating. Anywho, I think this is a good proof of concept. Uh, let's see if we can build a ship out of it. All right, I have been JW608. This has been StarMade, and I'll dig you cats later. <laughs>